All right, so what's good, YouTube? It's your man, the son of some man. Who's my son? Who's my son? And I'm back, back with another video. What's going on, guys? How's everyone doing out there? Hope all is well. I know I've been gone for about a week or two, guys. I can't apologize for this one. Uh, we actually lost, you know, my aunt about two weeks ago. My aunt Jean, she lives right up there, right upstairs, man. It's the the house feels completely empty without her, man. Anyway, guys, if you're brand new to the channel and this is your first time tuning in, thank you. I truly appreciate it. But can you do me a favor? Hit the subscribe button down below. Join the most loyal subscribers on YouTube. Anyway, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Nike Joyride. Uh, I promised this review two weeks ago. I didn't know, you know, I, my aunt was going to pass away. But we are still broken up about it. We cry every single night, man. It's really, really tough. She was like our moms, you know. I've been living in this house for almost 20 years, man. Seriously, and this is my house right here. And she's not with us anymore. It's really, really tough, man. Really, really tough. So please do me a favor, say a prayer for her tonight. Please, if you could find it in your heart, please do me a favor and pray for my Aunt Jean. Thank you, guys. But anyway, guys, without further ado, Let's get into today's review. All right, guys, here you have it, the Nike Joyride. I was really excited about this, you know, uh, release, and honestly, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. But before we get into that, let's get into the details of the sneaker. I know you guys are interested in you know, the technology, the beads. All right, guys, we're gonna take a look at the first part of the shoe that's most interesting, which is this new TPE technology. Now, the beads inside the uh, midsole is actually supposed to, you know, firmly, I guess, you know, get that custom fit for your foot to where, you know, you got like Boost, you got React, you got the, uh, the Pegasus, you got, you know, a bunch of different other technologies, same as, uh, when the when Puma came out with the uh, the energy bead, some saying Nike are biting from them, but it is what it is, man. You know, but this shoe, like I said, I was really excited about to grab, and I did grab it. But then, unfortunately, like I explained in the beginning of the video, uh, my aunt Jean passed away, and you know everything stops there. But it has been two weeks, and I wanted to get this review out to you guys. So anyway, guys, we're going to be taking a quick look at the outsole. As you can see, we have a translucent outsole. Maybe 75% of it is translucent. You got the tip of the toe translucent. The forefoot here is uh, translucent, where you can see the beads. And the back, the heel of the sneaker, is also translucent, and you can see the beads. It kind of looks like a McDonald's ball pit. <laughs> if you've ever been into McDonald's and you've seen their ball pits, that's, that's kind of, you know, what it looks like. And that's what they're calling it. They're calling it a bean bag for your foot. But anyway, guys, moving up, taking a look at the actual midsole. It's not really anything crazy. It's sort of very, 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 like, soft and squishy. It's not firm at all, so... If you're looking for something firm, this is not the sneaker for you. So, in my opinion, uh, if you have a wide foot, I would go a half a size up. If, uh, you know, you got some narrow feet, I would, you know, stay true to size. Because this sneaker really does, like, wrap around your foot. Kind of, it's it really is just like a beanbag, guys. Like, I know you guys have sat in a beanbag before. You sit and you just kind of, like, mold into it. That's kind of what this sneaker, you know... That's kind of what they're trying to do with this shoe, with the technology in the TEP, in the TPE beads. But anyway, guys, also the beads are not a, uh, a foam kind of material. It's more of a rubber plasticky material uh, from what I've heard. But anyway, guys, back to the midsole. We got a, you know, blue Nike swoosh. And yes, this is the, uh, you want to call it the OG colorway because this is the first uh, colorway that came out. Also, if you guys didn't see my pickup vlog that I took, you know, to I took my kids to actually pick these up, you can click the link at the top of the screen to check it out. Moving up, you got the the upper is made of Flynet, which, you know, most of you guys are most likely familiar with. If not, uh, I would definitely try the shoe on before I buy it if, you know, if you could, which I'm sure you can because they've <clears throat> definitely made millions and millions of pairs of these. Anyway, guys, this is the, uh, the, uh, the original colorway. They're starting to come out with some more lifestyle uh, you know versions of the sneaker as well as 
as coming out with more colorways of this version. So keep on the lookout for that. I believe they already dropped the uh, 15th of August. So anyway, taking a look at the toe box, as I mentioned, the, you know, the upper is uh, totally made of fly net. Then you got this little kind of like tape, uh, you know, piece by your toe, I guess to give it a little bit more support. Uh, that's that. All right, moving right along, moving up the tongue. We got flat white laces. And for the top of the tongue, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the with the Reebok pump, where you used to pump it and it would pump up your shoe. <laughs> but that's what that kind of reminds me of, that little uh, tab there. It says Joyride. Joyride Run, pardon me. Nike Joyride Run. All right, taking a look at the inner part of the sneaker. As you can see on the midsole, it actually says Conforming Cushioning System. Pretty dope. Also, I like this too on the heel of the sneaker. You got a big, big swoosh which is really dope. All right, taking a look at the back of the sneaker, as I mentioned before, you know, the, the entire upper is flying it. Then you got your little pull tab. Kind of looks like a uh, one of those wrists from Ross Clot, the uh, bracelet company that sponsored me. Pretty dope. Maybe they maybe they would come out with something that matches this, you know, to get that, uh, you know, get that uh, drip going. <laughs> but anyway, guys, man, that's pretty much it. Also, guys, I didn't really get a chance to put these on. I put them on a little bit, you know, for the video, a little on foot. But I really didn't get to walk around in them, so I will be doing an updated video on, you know, how comfortable they are, do they compare to, you know, what sneaker they compare to, you know, what, what sneaker I think is best, what sneaker I think is more comfortable, so stay tuned for that video. But anyway, like I mentioned before, guys, let me know down in the comment sections what you think of Nike's new beanbag for your feet. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate your patience with me. And God rest her soul. R.I.P. and Jean, I miss you. Until next time, it's your man, the son of some man. And I'm out, guys. Peace.